Hello and welcome by Azura, we're back. Alright, if you were with us previously in a stream that won't be archived on YouTube, we began our journey out of uh, Old Ebonheart only to have my PC almost die on us. Um, so here we are again. I opened up my PC, pulled out the RAM, pulled out the GPU, got my compressed air cans and dusted it out and all that. And uh, awesome, Gonzo, welcome back. Dusted out my PC and reseed everything. And now I got the, uh, we're back, Eltario. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, um, RAM is reseeded, GPU reseeded, my PC hopefully happy for now. Uh. <laughs> all right, so yeah, here we are uh, in old Ebonheart. Of course it's raining, and my region was apparently wrong. Um, so yeah, welcome, and here we are today. Uh, total overhaul tour uh, is ongoing, and today we're focusing specifically... Yeah, I know, right? Like, I tried to make it not rain, but Todd willing... Maybe Altariel knows the right region. I thought it was Antherin. Um, anyhow, though, we, uh, we're resuming the Total Overhaul Tour, looking at 6.0, but specifically at the new content that we'll be releasing in the Tamriel Rebuilt mod. Uh, starting off here in Old Ebonheart to look at some of the neat new assets that they got, hopefully in some sunshine, Todd willing. And uh, we will head out into the country and see what's new. So <clears throat> without further ado, we're back with Glass Joe here. Um, as I mentioned previously, too, uh, shield sheathing back in the mix. Very glad to have it. Um, technically, it's own region. Okay. All right, well, let's, uh, let's try it. Well, it didn't blow up. Just at the break of dawn. Hope that storm breaks. All right. Fresh day. Got to go back to this ship because I feel like I know you mentioned it specifically, Altariel, and yeah, so I had to come here. To Ooh. Look at these boats. And yeah, you might have noted before the sun came up, portholes were lit up. Such a nice touch. Glass Joe's own eyes. Nice. Wow. Courtesy of MD. All right. I mean, this is some incredible work here. This is one of the best boat models I've ever seen. I want to go in there. <laughs> okay. Oh, cool, cool. Not quite Wesley, but you know, I mean, that's okay for me. Cool. Very neat. Don't mind me just creeping through here. Yes, friend. Howdy. Love the big book models with the belts on them. I love that. me just a whoops just creeping in on your uh, your laundry <laughs> uh, we looked at these yesterday the oh, um, the the melted candles brush okay whoops ah, my sticky sword finger all right yeah some of the stuff we looked at before the great crash of my PC well at least we saw a different one of I love this little pit here. The cattle pit. Let's hear it. <clears throat> hey, 
And uh, also note, um, you can probably hear the music. That's the uh, dynamic music mod running the Muse uh, pack for TR soundtrack. Dig it. Sun rays. Shirtless people. Yeah, I mean... You could spend an hour looking at these boats alone. Sheesh. What's this about? Canisters, my friend. Oh, nice. Compass. I like that. Fresh game. Totally love this armor, too. Oh, okay. Wow, okay. That's good observation, Sophia. Yeah, uh, my, my GPU is happier. My motherboard is happier. Check the dedication plaque on the pillar. I did... Okay, I noticed that. Let's, uh... Whoop. Sorry. Didn't mean to walk on your table, fella. Ah, neat. Navy officer armor. Cool. Dig it. I love that a lot. <clears throat> um, buy this one. I think this is the side. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Naturally, we're just going to jump from here. All right. <clears throat> Properly misty morning here. Ebenhard City. Right. Like I said, you could probably spend an hour just checking out the boats. Or even just one or two of them. Much happier PC here. Still struggling a little bit. <laughs> so previously, before I crashed, we went into several interiors. We're going to do that again, but we're going to check out some of the ones I didn't go into. I love that banner, and uh, so yeah, let's go. Ooh. What's good for the Empire is good for business, citizen. No doubt. Good stuff. friend oh hey okay cool that's good though um that's good better fps is good thank you for noting we won't spend too much time poking around here oh it's you More FPS friendly for sure. We'll just pull up the old Mango Head thinks it wants to record. But yeah, you know, I'm staying pretty close to 20 here, which is, you know, uh, previously before I crashed, we turned the water shader off and got a couple more frames too. Um, so yeah. And certainly looking to the wilderness, we're <clears throat> in a bit more of a comfy place FPS wise. So 
All right, well, heading off into the wilderness. This is the, <laughs> here we go, yay, it works. This is the point we were at before. Uh, hey, Erm, welcome, my man. Thanks for joining. Um, let's just take a look at the map here. So, um, glad you're here. Hope you're having a great day. And yeah, we're just taking a trek through TR um, with my friendly guide, Altariel, who is... I think of us the most familiar with with what's uh, going to be dropping in this new release, and so uh, yeah, as you can see, got uh, the new release that's coming, and then uh, also I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, Altario, but this will be some in progress content, um, and we'll try to make our way down here. And some of this stuff is like really lovely, so shall we? Off into the country. That's Morrowind, all right. I can't help but just walk slowly. I've seen these before. Don't mind me. That's my PC when it's fully loaded on RAM. Unfortunately, I couldn't really get to the RAM sticks without pulling out the GPU, so it was a reseeding party. But it was worth it, I guess. Everything is a little happier. Get the dust out of there, too. All right, well, it's our first little settlement here. Do they need our help? Gondro. Oh, yeah, I've been here. Oh, sure. On. I haven't got all day, you know. Sweet robe. <clears throat> Any changes of note happening here, uh, El Tario? Outland, what do you want? Okay. Outland. Almost here. And again, that's, uh, we go here. Yeah, that's one of our, one of our destinations. So, yeah, how exciting. Here we go. Not now, buddy. I do love the fern, though. I'm just a big fan of fern. Great landscape here. Okay, great. Thank you, Altario. Yeah, that's exactly where we're heading, so... Just... Good landscape here, for sure. This will be a great place to effectively... You know... A new way to start Morrowind. Okay, thank you. We'll do show map. Almost. Now, 
let's peek at the map. Almost here. Which, last week, that's actually where we ended up. So, kind of neat. If you watched last week, last week's stream, um, you're in for a treat. We saw the old one, now we're going to look at the new one. And then, Holan Oik down here. And then, bonus, stretch goal coming down here. Not at a hard stop at uh, the normal time today, just because we effectively lost our first hour. So, we'll just trudge on down south, shall we? Join me. Keep following the signage. And yes, we got the signpost travel mod active. And yes, it's recording them, but don't quite have it randomly picking points yet. Coming soon, before 2090. All right, will do. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, is this the... I believe this is a place you were talking about. Uh, no, not yet, Erm. Totally on my to-do list, my pre-2090. Yeah, I didn't get to it yet, but it is on the pre-2090 list. <clears throat> I gotta get in an update for Natural Character Growth and Decay, where uh, we have a back-end... Re somebody rewrote the back-end. Nice. Awesome. Thank you, Altario. Good call out there. We got all the places marked on the map now. Hopefully sometime this week, though, Erm, I can take a stab at that. Um, and yeah, we have uh, random travel points for TR and optionally for any point, too. And I think that'll be the final update for the signpost mod until I can make a better GUI on the map. Ooh, that would be awesome, dude. Yeah, actually, I was thinking about using the new UI API to make a proper menu. Somebody raised an issue on GitLab about how if you, like, level up a bunch of things at once, the message box is just, you know, they don't queue well, and so you can miss messages. I thought we need, like, a log or something. Um, actually, setting a suggested, like, a graph or something might be cool. I don't know. But, yeah, man, we can talk for sure. I want to get in uh, the, the new back end for that before I start playing, because I'm definitely interested to see what our friend Mehdi Yusuf has brought to the, the NCGD engine. And then, yeah, a new UI would be cool. All right, where are we at here? This is... let's see. Hmm? Cool. Okay. I don't think I've actually been through here. If it... If I have, it's been a minute. Let's just stumble through here real quick. I really Speaking like this armor. This, I think this is Indrel. Yeah. I'm listening. Go ahead. Always liked it. I've seen it go through quite a few iterations now over the years, and I always liked it. And I like this one. I want a patio on my group. Hey, Santa. What's up, man? Welcome. <laughs> Just playing Morrowind, you know. Checking out uh, new content for a big... We're not quite there yet, but new content for one of the biggest Morrowind mods. Definitely one of the most hype-worthy. Naturally, we're just going to jump down. I was telling Smalio this morning with coffee, I remember back in the day, you know, when TR first launched, just thinking, okay, wow, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Whoop, where's my Katana finger? 
Let's check the map real quick, see where we are. Okay, Vool, Dondril. So, you know, we got a nice little trail we've gone through here. A little bit of wilderness before we get to our first major city where we're going to see, you know, the first big changes for the release coming out. So, yeah, here we go. Run, don't walk. Seems like another really nice area. Back on the trail. Okay. Tucked away here, this is pretty nice. Actually, I just want to show off the new shield on the Quipper feature. Or put your old shield back on. What is it, Sarah? We're not going this way. We came from that way, of course. Yeah, me too, Sophie. Plus, if you're playing with natural character growth and decay, let's just take a little detour here. Um, you know, their governing stats are pretty good, right? Like, strength, endurance, speed. Good stuff. All right, well, let's continue this way. <clears throat> but yeah, the real big thing here will be my shield magically returning, which if we look here, uh, unequipped. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the Someone vanilla leveling. So if you like the vanilla leveling, you might not like it. There we go. Yay, shield again. <clears throat> if you like the vanilla leveling, you're probably not going to like it. It's more of a... You don't have to think about how many skill increases you're going to get kind of a thing, right? Oh, here's a little bit of a floater happening here. Ramirez ground cover. You're going to need an update. And let's just look where we are at the map. We've got to be close. Yeah, okay. I mean, right in front of us is the city, so here we go. I need a blueberry. Ooh. Hi, friend. What do you want, Outlander? Actually, nothing. Very nice little pond here. Need to go fishing. Pre-2090. Alright. Almost here, this away. Well, what have we got here? Roy Deer. Okay. Little... Ooh. 
pretty nice pond here too. And I can't help but want to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy now. Alright, enough with the angry fish. I disabled all the vanilla Morrowind music again. Hence, no battle music. It just works. Oh no, I was gonna say hey friend, but... You're not my friend, buddy. Got some cool gear. Really not interested. is the way. Oh, man. I'm excited because it's beautiful and also I look over here and the game doesn't turn into a slideshow. Is it, Sophia, not gonna lie, I started doing it. It's pretty okay. I was telling Smallio last night I need to start looking at the music API some so I can figure out like a balanced combat music mod, right? Because like Skyrim rightfully doesn't play the epic battle music when you're attacked by a crab. You know, I think it's it's a good approach. A little bit of an, F of an FPS dip, dip, but... Oh yeah, we totally ran through here the other day, for sure. Because I remember jumping in the... <laughs> in the river. Which we will do again. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, and even some mods, like we saw back in the day, you know, months ago when we looked at the Caldera Priory mod, um, some mods are doing boss music, which I think is really cool, you know? Um, but yeah, just like, I don't need Cliff Racer battle music. I really don't. <laughs> I'm listening. Go ahead. All right. I don't think there's anything new here specifically. Yeah, I do too. That's why I, w I walked up here. Hey, War, welcome, my dude. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you for joining. I'm just playing Morrowind, you know. What is this about? Okay. Oh, and another boat. I wonder if this is a new boat. Nonetheless, back on the road. We need to get to the city. This music mod Let's is see. worth it for the TR tunes alone, though. Really makes the content, you know, feel... <laughs> You're funny. I think I've been a Morrowind fanboy since I've known you. Right? We were playing it on Xbox in those days. Tempting. I do love this landscape. No joke. A little shrine. Clay pot. Yeah, it's okay, though. These things happen. One day, maybe in 2090, we'll have the, like, paint-on ground cover that just works with the terrain magically and nobody has to go through the headache of generating the, the stuff. Um, yeah, we were definitely here last week, too. Here we go. Well, so, again, Ramiros ground cover. Woof. <laughs> Gonna need an update. Here we are, though. Wow, I like this... More floaters over here. Yikes. But yeah, great view. 
great. And, dare I say, seems like it's performing a bit better than we had last week. Um, now let's turn on the Mango HUD and see. Yeah. I have it capped at 30, by the way. It's my, my high-end potato the GPU. You light at the you light at light at three. All right. Shiny glass armor, or gold armor, and uh, ordinator armor. Not going to be on total overhaul. Think. That was a suggestion from our friend Detail Devil, though. I tried it out and I liked it a lot, so here it is. Yeah, I love this little inlet here. This is really nice. Ooh. Okay, cool. Very nice. Thank you for that, Altario. Yeah, we got a little floater here. I don't know. Maybe this is a configuration error on my end. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> tell my <money> bench. <laughs> Alright, so we have to go check out the Guild of Mages. Let's get there. Wow, okay. Pretty much every interior here. Wow, okay. Well, I mean, let us go. The familiar, you know. Oh, okay. I need to get my... Just love this TR soundtrack. I need to see the console so I can see what the song is. And for you at home, I'm looking at this. Uh, ooh, which by default has a bit of a but we can see Tamro rebuilt tunes playing here. Ordinary Ordinator Barracks. Okay, here we go. Wow, this is cool. Next level Canton design for sure. Okay, awesome. <laughs> We're heading right there as soon as I find it. Honestly, like the dark, but I need you all out there to be able to see it too. So let's crank up the brightness just a little bit. Let me know if that looks okay to you guys watching. Like that Dragon citizen. Yeah, this one right here, Junie. Hey, it's somebody's pet. Library. Ooh, very tempting to go in there, but I want to see these barracks first. Temple. Welcome to Almosphere, Outlander. Nice. Looks almost Dwemer. I don't know. That's great. Even the closet is comfy. Dunmer, a nice touch. Answer thee, grant you humility. Lovely clutter everywhere, just lovely. 
Anything specific you want to call out, El Eltario, please let me know. Ah, I love that closet. Right, agreed, Sophia. Agreed. It's a bit intense in here. I was just going to say, it doesn't totally fit too well. Check the basement. All right, we're going there. Yeah, just, I, w I wish almost, maybe there was like a pulse or if it was a little less intense. I do love it, though. Prison? No, basement. Forget tomorrow. Welcome to Almasdir, Outlander. Huh? This is an unintended interaction with the guard hounds mod. <laughs> nice though. I would listen out there, but make it quick. <laughs> He's just chilling here now though, so Go ahead. I'm waiting. I wonder if we could do like a cell blacklist. Uh, with that one, yeah. I'll talk to Ezzy about it. They're just training, but he got a little into it and brought the bear out. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta bring the bear out. Yeah, I'm sure Ezzy can add, like, a cell ignore list or something. To prevent slightly awkward but hilarious situations like this. Ah, oh, I just love this barracks, though. The clutter is just exquisite. Right? Like, it's it's your standard fair stuff, but, like, everything is just so thoughtfully placed, and the, the assets, the beds, the tables, everything. Just great. The bread makes me hungry. Wow. Props, Eltario. I'm loving this. Totally loving it. And I love the ordinator. Like, whatever the gear that I'm it is listening. that they're wearing. Go ahead. I don't know if that's something new or just, uh... Yeah, I feel like the new stuff is new. Awesome. Cool. Well done. Yeah, this is a cool touch. I love the training area. Thank you, Altario. Thank you so much for your work here. The last piece to you, Outlander. What brings you to Almasdeer? <laughs> the bear. That's great. Whoops. Your goofy modded moment right here. Yeah, I'll mention to Ezzy. Gonzo, can you ping me about that on Discord so I don't forget? And I'll say to Ezzy, maybe he can do a... Maybe you can do an update of the mod at some point. I think we can read factions now, too, so... Yeah, I don't mind it at all, either. Uh, I think he could do faction read factions, though, now, so we can have, like, the Telvanni summon, you know, Animunculi or whatever. Do not stray. Yeah, of all the modded goofs you could have, this is a fairly benign one, for sure, but... <laughs> Office of the Watch. Okay, so we're taking the long way out here, and I don't actually mind. Shackles. Oh, man. <laughs> I, did, I think I remember seeing that when we were going through TD stuff. Yeah, just exquisite clutter. If you're somebody who likes to just take it slow and look at all the details, I mean... This is the first place we've gone into, basically, in the campaign, so I feel like we got a lot of ground... Speak the truth, yeah. and all shall come to you. All right. There was something interesting over here, right? I forget what exactly. Uh, let's go to the temple. 
do what is right and all else shall follow. Little uh, apothecary here. Is there something you need? What is it, Sarah? This is a great temple design. I love it. It's great to not have like the, you know, because in Morrowind they're all kind of samey. So yeah, it's a nice take on the uh, on the temple. Do what is right, and all else shall follow. Oh, Alexia. Forget tomorrow. If you are right, act today. Really like the the drape on here. It's a pretty nice touch. Do what is right, and all else shall follow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Nice. Gotta check it. I, th I feel like between that, okay, okay. I feel like between that and MD's Temple Master mod, lots of cool reasons to do Temple. I mean, you got good loot anyway from it, so spoiler alert. Ooh. Speaking of samey areas in Vivac, right, all the lower waste works are kind of, you know, you've seen them on, you've seen them all. This is a great take on the sewers. Wow, cool. Looks like this is gonna take us outside even, so we're gonna come back here, but I'm gonna stroll around the sewers a bit more, huh? Oh, exit, okay. Ooh, I'm super curious to see. How are we gonna exit out here? Alright. Is there something you need? Oh yeah, I was loving these paper lamps yesterday. Went a little crazy with them. Oh, cool. Quest lines, even. Six quest lines, even. That's great. That's really great. You know, I can't wait for, <clears throat> I think it's RTT support in the Lua API, but basically you could have like a, a dressing room. I think we talked about this on the stream before, but you could do like a dressing room, right? Come in here and see like what all these clothes look like on your character, you know, like in GTA San Andreas. You can like go through a menu or something and we'd have like a something rendering on the screen, not unlike this, you know, paper doll thing here. Um, yeah, dressing room mod, when? Gosh, don't try this. Don't try the mouse click out. I think I need to raise my desk up a little bit, honestly. Outlander. 
thirsty saint. <laughs> All right. I am a thirsty person at the moment. But Sarah. This. This is what I want, this kind of stuff, right? What are these? Rope knot, okay. This one. Rope, okay. Note to self. I need the ropes. This what one too. What is this about? Okay, this is a, yeah. Okay, this is a vanilla one. Rope, okay. Note to self. Yeah, I like the counter there. Definitely fancier than the vanilla one. Looks great. We've got the HD assets from Tamriel Data going on here, and it looks great. Uh, and normal maps from Normal Maps for Everything, which will probably need an update. I just have the cards again. Before I crashed earlier in the in the prior failed stream, we were looking at the cards. I hope I see those again. Scrib pie. Mm, pie. That is a sweet case. Oh, wow. Awesome. Cool. Trading card game. We were saying in a previous stream, too, we need to have, like, a, a games subsection for the mod lists. Loving all the faces, all the clothing. I'm loving it all. We'll go ahead and not break into places, I suppose. Well. Crazy little bar here. Go ahead. Well, I love this interior so much. Let's go back outside and look around here. Some by the docks. What is it, sir? Run, don't walk. Let's peek at the map real quick, see where we're at. So, points of interest. Oop, as I punch my mic. Our next destination here. Following that here. And then as a stretch goal, we want to get here, which is Narciss. Okay. Nice little beach over there. I want to go there. I love beaches. You want to go down there, and I won't jump, just for the sake of. Let's have the normal visitors experience, not the glass Joe. I jump everywhere experience. Ooh, okay. A slightly familiar area here. Pay no mind to the floaters. Welcome to Almosphere, Outland. Are you here to visit the blood? Like that hat. Let's hear it. Huh. Where did I put it? Cool. This was a familiar yeah. little kind of walkway, and uh, wow. Definitely like the new take on it. Well done. You may I'm loving it. Yeah, we looked at this last week, right? And for a while, it's been kind of a just a straightaway, but now it's got a little bit more like, I don't know. Oh, damn that sword. A little bit more of an alley feel. Right, let's make our way to those docks. Welcome to Atmosphere. 
bigger and just, uh, you know. Got a bit more soul. The tower, okay. Oh, right, Mage's Guild. We wanted to go here. Thank you for Do the reminder. I'm listening. Go ahead. Fire. I'm listening. can help I will but don't take too much time make some room on my desk here <sighs> this uh, crystal ball very nice yeah, right? Oh, loving it. Whew. Okay, yeah, sure does. Look at him. Okay. I take it he's got some quests, too, even? Let me in. I'm a member. All right. Okay. Awesome. Good stuff. So, yeah, I mean, you can totally just come down here right away and get going with some stuff. My body is ready. Oh, fuck. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not doing this now. <laughs> Just walk out. Full Mage's Guild quest line. That's great. Actually, in 6.0, there's going to be a lot of good new Mage's Guild content, I'm too. Listening. Glitter Gears, um, Stronghold. Really looking forward to seeing that. Is there something you need? Alright, well. Cool. I hope this was the tower you were talking about. That was excellent. That was most excellent. Just want to head down to the docks before we continue on out of the city. I hope we've seen everything that's worth seeing here. Eltario, please let me know if I'm wrong. Cool. I got the no, white tower. I don't have time for you. I love the dice, too. Little things, you know? Oh. Yeah, we can do that. Um, Erm, if you're still with us, I think we can do that with 0 0.48. It would just be um, fail gracefully, I guess, if no, no, you know, it'd have to be 0 0.49. We could do it 0 0.49, though, almost certainly. Whoops. Um, yeah, we could uh, see if the Mage's Robes mod is there and, and appropriately spawn them on, on people as needed. Um, I, know, I know we don't have an official list of Lua ports and mods we're going to need for 6.0, but that should be on the list for sure. Um, I know Sophie noted the Argonian Helmets one was another one. Uh, 
definitely belongs in the skunk works, but we need an issue to track that kind of stuff. Good call out, uh, El Trial. Thank you. Yeah, we could definitely do it. It would just be dev build only, of course. And yeah, those robes are, you know, we want those. <laughs> but I believe we can read factions now, so it should be doable. And that's where we came from, folks. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna start getting hungry. So this is normally the, basically the end time of the stream, but we're gonna keep going. Basically until I get too hungry to go. We'll give it another hour or so. All right, yeah, this is just such a scenic area. I mean, we could do a whole stream, a couple streams, just looking at all the stuff there. Like, what are those, what's the rocks in the, in the water? I must know, what's going on here? Uh, I'll let you know, thank you, Smallio. getting late. I am definitely curious to know. Alright. And it, it's a perfect time to be heading this way. Well, with the sun and all giving us the... Ooh. Yeah, I'm a big fan of spicy, personally. Ghost pepper sounds great. Okay, I figured, yeah, it's it was some maritime implement of some kind. All right, so here's where we started. The big city made our way through the countryside and saw quite actually quite a few points of interest, actually. Here. Look at that. I mean, this is not your average trek through the country, really. We've been through two major cities now, seen some pretty amazing clutter. And we're heading to the next point of interest that will be featured in the update coming out this week. So, let me get a swig, and we'll continue on. Alrighty. This is all Eltariel. This is all new stuff too, right? Basically, should we expect to see new stuff on the trek here on the way to the next city? Because this looks new to me. I'm liking that. Nice. Thank you for that. That's awesome. I mean, I was just going to say, this is like quite the view. This is quite the path here, so. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow. Don't think I've seen this armor before. This is a new take on Bone Mold, I think. Wow. Pretty cool. You may speak. So I assume there's quests, temple quests, maybe. Because we have the, you know, the Pilgrim, Pilgrim's Path in uh, the base game. X 
Excellent. We can see that silt strider out from the distance. We know where we want to go. And in the interest of keeping it daytime too, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna make it morning again. That's what I was waiting for, thank you. Border with Cyrodiil, wow, that's exciting. All the way to Necrom, wow. I mean, that's like... <laughs> not a short amount of time in real life to walk that whole thing. That's exciting. Let's take a quick peek at the map. Oh yeah, town's right in front of us, here we go. Blasphemy. It's okay, no ordinators around here. We can talk all the blasphemy we want. quite peaceful here for sure that's the first friend we've run into that actually wanted to be a friend all right i think it's a great hour to be pulling in here Dwemer ruins music for whatever reason. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, Altario, please let me know any points of interest. I'm just going to kind of stroll around outside for a minute. Looking great with the sunrise. Okay, okay. Give us the setting here. So I guess the Dwemer music is kind of appropriate. It's a bit oh. ominous. No doubt the sound uh, music mod will need a little update to know about these cells. This better be important. Probably. Wow. <laughs> All right, interesting. Can make for some interesting quests, I'm sure. Sophie asking what's on my mind. This better be important. I'm just impressed with the plank, even, but it's the normal maps. <laughs> Like a uh, house, house Lalu, the great house quests, even, because that's great. All right, can we go up here? Nice. 
Nice. Cool. Very cool. Telvani gets all the love from modders, so. What do we got here? Shipbuilders and sailors. Not quite ready to look at interiors just yet. And is this, uh. It's an outlet. Okay, wow. Yeah, just this. That armor. You may speak. Under sun and sky, Outlander, we greet you warmly. <laughs> Head on. What is this about? Short trip, long trip, you decide. Hmm. I wonder where the ferry goes. Not going there now. Well, let's, uh... Let's check an interior, or two or three. Not criminally. Oh wow, I like that. The wall art is. <clears throat> I'm listening. Well, okay. beyond measure, Outlander. Check the corner club. Okay. Just somebody's house, but yeah. All the clutter floating on the bench. That's my favorite. Let's get some upstairs real quick. saw this place. Here we go. I think this council club. Say what you want or go away. More action oh, I like the stairs. What do you want? I don't have a lot of That's great. questions, Outlander. Let's look at the local map, huh? Okay. I don't even remember where the temple is, I'll be honest with you. But it should be easy enough to see, okay. I'm so hungry. Let me feed you. What do you want? Head on. Definitely gives you that Balmora vibe. I was just thinking it's got, you know, that sprawl. 
elevation. Oh, nice. Sun Corner Club. That's a great banner. I love me some moody interiors. Ooh. So make it quick. Outlander. Oh, playing some cards. Okay. Yes, I feel like friend. we need to have we need to have a mention of the card games in the NWAS guide. The whole point of that mod is to call out fun content, you know, so I feel like we should mention the card games. You have questions. I'm listening. What is it, Sarah? <clears throat> so what do you want? Yes, I have no time for you. We need to get there. Oh, wait. Yeah. shirt. <laughs> Any more points of interest of we should check out here, or should we hit the road? Should we see more country? Unexplored work in progress areas. Let's check out the temple since we're up here. And I think I want to see that governor's mansion. On the sun and sky. Ah, uh, the mall, right, of course. Okay, all right, real quick peek inside the temple. How could I forget? Thank you for keeping me on track. Quick peek at the temple here. I will listen out there, then, but make it quick. Making me hungry. Yeah, the glow is a little, it's a little intense for the vibe of the rest of the room. So, I suppose we can, uh, so did I give myself the right spell? Hold on. No, I didn't.
Well, let us begin to uh, head out, and that's the general way we want to go now for this mysterious place that Altario is taking us to, the Maw. All right, Gonzo. We'll need water breathing. Mm, a light spell, huh? Okay. Tcom Lu Azur's light. Okay. That is that a spell effect, or uh, just an item I should give myself? Awesome. Cool. It's actually one of my staple spells. I just don't call it that. All right. Uh, okay. So I think we're ready then for the mall. To the country. There's a trail up there. We'll converge with that. Shore and then probably just mage walk it that away. See the sights. Hmm? <clears throat> ah, right. Good call out there. I hadn't even noticed because it looks so good in general. There is indeed no ground cover. All right, this looks like a nice beach to set off from. Another friendly bug, maybe? Yeah. I'm cool, I swear. So I see something over there. Gotcha. Okay. Not related. <laughs> We're turning into burger talk. Okay, just around the corner then. Whoop. We can, you know. I mean, that looks great.
take that. Ooh, intersecting shipwreck. Neat. And we approach the void, it seems. So let's hit the map here. All right. <clears throat> I take it we're going to need to go underwater. Yeah, it's not as good as Witcher, animation-wise, for sure. And the water effect. Quite good in Witcher 3. Let's get our water breathing on. <clears throat> Ooh, wow, look at this. And the friendly is immediately coming to greet us. Hello. see it. By the way, not using an animation blending gun at the moment, I don't think at least. Um, yeah, totally, right, Sector? Oof. And the, the ground cover is excellent. Wow, look at this. Crazy. I see why you wanted to take us here. Descent. Can't help but notice this effect. It's pretty interesting. Huh, okay, let's go in. Music is perfect. Oh, man. This is like Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time vibes big time going inside the fish level, like the third dungeon. Wow, this is crazy. a giant dro is that even how you say it <laughs> unbelievable is right so is this going to be in the in the released content eltarial or is this some work in progress stuff yeah for sure absolutely shaders tie it together blind slaughter fish yes okay wow cool so there's gonna be reason to come here for sure check it out this is a finished dungeon most excellent unique boss even wow yeah so you definitely you got to come here with the water shaders for sure and and obviously lots of magic
so you could effectively start your new game. Meet up with somebody in Sedanin. Come straight to Tamriel Rebuilt. And not go back for a minute. Right? <laughs> totally. We need the Iron Boots, Lua Mod. I think that could be done now. You could cheat with spell effects, maybe. Which, of course, on the subject of Zelda boots, makes me want the Magnet boots. Okay, cool. Thank you. I am going to COC there shortly. I want to check out this coral. And actually, I'm going to... I am going to be right back. Folks, I need to... Use the restroom. Please bear with me. I'm back. That's an idea, small yo, for sure. Yeah, definitely loving this. This was a great idea. Nice touch. All right, shall we head on into that boss room, huh? an ominous name. Here we go.
slightly disorienting, but I love it. Take it? Seems like it. This guy's real tough. Whatever this one is. Ah, yeah. Perudma. That's it right there. Cool. Cool. Thank you for pointing us here. This is... I'll turn off the brightness a little bit so we can see a bit more. This is wild. Is it bad that I want to use these? <laughs> yeah, loving it. Such a nice area, well thought out, cool, unique. But it's still kind of, you know, I feel like this is still Morrowind. Oh. Wow. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, taking that. Yo, is right. <laughs> oh, oh, man. And it's a cool looking device, too, I must say. Would not want to get hit with that. Wow, okay, so there's your reason for wanting to come here. And uh, tangle with that, uh, that, that creature that I just bopped on the head a few times. Hmm. All right. Potion of water breathing. <laughs> I suppose if you made it this far, you probably don't need it, but it's good that it's there. Wow. Cool. Very cool. <clears throat> Anything else I should do while I'm here, Altariel? Otherwise, I think we're going to call it for today. I need to see what this thing is on the wall. And, uh... Okay, it's a, it's like a statue of our, of our boss. Okay, cool. Well, this has been a great little trek through the new content that you're going to be seeing this week in TR. You can see it today, even if you want to. Um, we saw it right here. Uh, so much thanks to my guide, Altariel, for helping me figure out what was, yeah, worth seeing. Uh, and just, you know, recapping with our map here. We had a, quite the trek starting out in old Ebonhard and going through the countryside and, and really scoping in the new content here, you know, in this area. So check it out when it drops this week come out to the new cities and uh, definitely make your way into Perudma's Maw. And so with that, <clears throat> excuse me, it is lunchtime. I thank you again for joining. I wish you all a happy